tip of the day. Everything is energy and all energy is attractive. Did you know that? Did you know that everything was energy? Did you know that all energy is attractive? It's attractive in its nature. It's attractive not from the perspective of how it looks, <laughs> right? It's attractive from the perspective of all energy attracts. All energy is like a magnet, right? All energy attracts and it attracts according to frequency, right? Everything vibrates and everything vibrates at a certain rate. And the rate of a vibration is referred to as the frequency. And the frequency of the energy determines what it what it what it attracts and like energy attracts did you know that did you know that you are energy everything is energy every car that you look at is energy everything that you look at is energy even the things that you can't see or look at are energy your thoughts are energy your desires are energy your dreams are energy did you know that your desires are summoning energy. Your desires are asking energy. Your desires and your wants and your preferences, that's a good word, what you prefer is energy that is asking. That's the asking, right? And so as you dream and as you think and as you desire and as you prefer, you are emitting energy at a certain frequency, right? You're emitting energy at a certain frequency. And what you're attracting to you has a lot to do with the frequency of your energy or the frequency of your vibration, right? Now, think about this one. Every subject is two subjects, wanted and unwanted, preferred and unpreferred. And so the energy that you emit as a result of the vibration that you hold, just because you're thinking about a certain thing doesn't mean that you're attracting that thing. What it means is you could be attracting the opposite of that thing or the lack of that thing. In other words, if you're thinking about a subject like more money or a better relationship or a nicer house or a better job or a vacation or whatever, just because you're thinking about a certain subject doesn't mean that you're thinking about the presence of that subject. Many of the times, because we, we do understand that everything is energy, but we don't understand that all energy is frequency, a lot of the times when we're thinking about what we desire, we're actually not thinking about its presence, we're thinking about its absence, right? So how do you feel when you think about your desires? How do you feel when you think about your dreams, right? Do you feel the presence of them or do you feel the absence of them? Because the frequency of that thought determines what's coming to you, whether more absence is coming to you or whether more presence is coming to you. Everything is energy. All energy is attractive. All of your desires are energy. Everything that you want is energy. And when you figure out a way to match the frequency of what you're vibrating and what you're thinking to the frequency of what it is that you want to have come into your experience. Another way to put it, when you're at one with your own desires, then, then you already have your desire. You don't feel absence, you feel presence. And as you emit the, the feeling of the presence of what you want, you're always attracting. It's just, are you attracting what you want or are you attracting what you don't want? So keep that in mind. What's going on around you, don't let it mess with your head too much. Stay focused on what you want. Stay focused on being at one with what you want. Stay focused. Keep your energy on being, feeling the presence of, of, of what it is that you want. Feel good when you think about your desires. Feel whole when you think about your desires. Because when you admit that feeling, then believe and know that more of that is coming because everything is energy. Your thoughts are energy and all energy attracts. Your thoughts attract.